Hi, it's Darren with Smartsheet Guru. I recently had a client ask me about using the primary column. Do you really need to put a value in the primary column in Smartsheet? My answer was no, you don't really need to have a value in there, but you really should because the primary column is used as the primary identifier for the row and this affects things like hierarchy and reporting. Let me demonstrate. Here we have a sheet. I have the primary column clearly labeled as such. I have a name column, an expense category, an expense amount. So let's say we have a form. An employee can pick their name, an expense category, and put an expense amount. So it comes back in this sheet here. Now let's say I have a report. And in this report, I want to say group by expense category. This looks pretty good, but my primary column is empty. So let's say I want to hide it. Well, now the problem is I don't see the category headers and I can't collapse these groups either. With the primary column showing, I have that functionality. The same happens in the underlying sheet as well. Let's say for some reason this row is indented. I can collapse and expand this hierarchy using the primary column. But if I hide it, I no longer have that functionality. So to answer the question, do you need to have values in the primary column? Highly recommended. So in this sort of scenario, If you wish to, say, have a drop down to select a name, for example, you can't do a drop down in the primary column because the primary column can only be a text number. However, you can enter a formula. So we can simply say, we'll set the primary column equal to the name. We'll make that a column formula. And so now any new entries coming into the sheet the name will be transferred to the primary column. And we can always hide the name column. And we can do the same in the report. Let's go ahead and refresh this report. We'll remove the name column. And now we can group by expense category. We can group by, say, primary, which is now the name. And then we don't lose that functionality either of being able to collapse the groups. So I think the takeaway from this is put a value in the primary column as the primary column is the main identifier for the row. And it affects the reporting as well as the hierarchies in the underlying sheet. Thanks for watching.